I feel as if once I get closer to the horses, I'll be able to get a better feel for what's happening around this ranch and what's going on spiritually. I figured out the horse. It's Mahina. Her name is Sweet Mahina. And is she here? She is, and that's where we're going to go. She oh. Oh, watch. The dog is. Don't worry. I know. Come on, Gravy. <laughs> come, on, come on, good girl. All right, gang, here we go. Oh, she's going to be back there. There she is. Oh, yeah. She's a blackish gray. Oh. Look at them looking at you. Are they afraid of humans? Oh, no. Oh. They'll come over. Okay. They're curious. There she is. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Come here. I want this come special. Here. Hey. Mahina, come here. Come on. Come here. Mahina. Come on. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. This is sweet Mahina. Nobody wanted to keep her when she was born because they were like, she's not show quality, she's not this, she's not that. And I threw a fit every time someone said they wanted to sell her. So this is your special horse. Yeah, yeah. This is her. Look how sweet she is. She's beautiful. That's why she's sweet Mahina. While I was petting sweet Mahina. Hi, baby. I started to sense the energy of the ghost in the white dress. I have to be honest, mm -hmm. I keep getting visions of that young girl. She had this one special horse. Mm. And somehow it connects a little bit to you. OK. In a, in a sense where maybe you have this special horse mm -hmm. that you saved. Oh, yeah. But you saved Mahina. Yeah. I have this whole sense of a fire, mm -hmm. and um, there was a tragic, tragic accident with that young girl in your house. Mm -hmm. She saw fire, and she hurried to get the horses. And I feel as if the horse was really petrified of the fire. This girl, as she was letting the horses out of the barn to save them, one of them knocked her over on what? accident, and she burned to death. And uh, she connects on this land. Mm -hmm. and, and I think it's very ironic that you see her in the the poof of smoke out of your fireplace. Yeah. Are you OK? Or what are they doing? They're probably sensing the energy here. Maybe we should get back in there. Yeah. Are they charging? Holy cow. Get the out of here. Where's Gravy? Gravy! Wait. Gravy! Clear? No. Here he is! Go. Go. This guy is really close. You gotta go, guys. Like, for real, though. Like, this is like. No, the horses are charging. <laughs> Holy cow. What did we start? When I bought this place, it didn't look like this. And so, in the process of clearing it and building the lakes, fencing, it took, you know, I think it took us, been here 21, it took us 19 years to complete this. You know, I'm kind of glad you're here today, but I'm kind of wish you weren't. I don't want to know anything. Yeah, you know, I told, told Tammy, I said, we, 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 we hear other people talk about these things until they happen to you. It took forever for my mom and dad until they saw the chairs rocking. And the den on the other side of the house we were telling my mom and dad chairs from rock and walking down the hallway, people talking to you. And they laughed at us. They're in their 80s. And so I came home, and I was on the other side of the house with Tammy in the kitchen. And my mother goes, Terry, Terry, come here. <laughs> so I went 
threw them off. I was going to the other side. And the rockers on the side of the, of the fireplace, and just rocking up a storm. And I went, told you. <laughs> just busting it, man. And she was just freaking out. And we even had company stay there and say, hey, you know, somebody came in the house last night and turned the kitchen lights on, was making a racket down in the kitchen, and we thought it was you. So we said, well, what's... And it just kept... So we got out of bed, went downstairs, there's nobody. <laughs> My preacher said, don't talk to them. Demand that they leave you alone. And say it in the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to get out of here and leave me alone. You're not allowed in this room. And so I did, man. I jumped up. I started, <laughs> in the name of Jesus, get out of here. You're not welcome in this house, man. I was shouting it. <laughs> it freaked me out. Definitely a believer now. And that actually, you know what it does? It actually solidifies my faith as, as a Christian, too. So it makes me feel... That's good, and I think that's one of the reasons why it doesn't bother us anymore. We're totally at ease, totally at comfort. I know, I'm, it's like like Tammy says, nobody's throwing knives at us or firing guns, so, you know, maybe scaring us at times, but not, not anymore, and we do walk over there now. We're just used to it. Last question before you go to the Oh, I, I, oh but only during the daytime. <laughs> we don't go over there at night. I guess we're still scared. Yes, of course I won't. There's a part of me that's dying to know. But I, I will that change me? And that just sends chills up your spine. And I'd like to know, you know, why is it here? And I do wish it would leave. You know, maybe, maybe today we, maybe we can get it on down the highway. <laughs>